But one of the things that's really important to us here at My Peoples is not just that we do a lot of talking, but as you saw uh, with Mike in the beginning, we believe that arts and culture is a great way to touch hearts and minds and really open up the space for this type of dialogue. Um, so I want to bring to the stage someone who is so, so funny. Uh, his name is Athar Usman. He is a, a world famous comedian from Chicago. Um, he's opened up for Dave Chappelle 50 times. Oh, no. Whoa. Right? Like, that's pretty. When he told me that, I was like, I'm going to say that okay. one. That's, that's pretty, pretty big. Yeah, right? Sure. So everybody. Everybody give a warm My People's Welcome uh, to Athar Usman. Woo! <laughs> and the technology is also here to scare all of you. Uh, I'm perfectly aware most of you have never seen somebody who looks like me smile before. Unless you had a lot of Ubers. Uh, it's very common. Very friendly people in the Uber organization. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna give this a minute to sink in. If you guys are still <laughs> you're really weirded out right now. Uh, my name is Azhar. I'm from Chicago. My parents are originally from India. Uh, that's right. Represent indeed. I'm not sure which side you're representing there, but uh, <laughs> sure, I take it. Yes, just general representation. Yes. <laughs> I'm in favor of general representation. You know. Uh, but, but I did realize recently, if you're not white or black in America, and somebody asks you where you're from, it's always a multi-part question. <laughs> always a multi... I, I got pulled over by a cop. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I, got, I got pulled over by a cop. True story. He's like, uh, where are you from? I was like, uh, Chicago. No, but where are you from? Uh, same question. Chicago. No, where are you really from? Uh, Skokie. It's a northern suburb of Chicago. It's, uh, a lot of Jews. It's a great suburb. No, what are you? I'm a human being. What kind of questions are these, man? No, what is your nationality? Uh, nationality is a function of citizenship. So I guess United States of America? I think you were trying to ask me about my ethnic background, but you're stupid. I think you don't know the difference between ethnicity and nationality. <laughs> this is America. Learn the language or go home. <laughs> People say stupid things to me all the time. True story, I was stopped at a red light recently. Just minding my business, okay? This car full of hoodlums. Pulled up next to me, I looked over at them, looked like a bunch of skinheads. But I wasn't gonna judge them. Until the driver looks over, he's like, what's up, Osama? And before he could say anything, his friend goes, yeah, what's going on, Gandhi? Oh, <laughs> I was totally confused. How could I be Osama and Gandhi at the same time? What is this, terror through nonviolence? That's a hell of a tactic. I will kill you by not eating. And by the way, here's a footnote to that joke. Since when did calling somebody Gandhi turn into an insult? Right. Is the same guy going up to black people like, what's up, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> Nelson Mandela? <laughs> Is that your mama, Mother Teresa? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, that's all I'm saying. But there, let's be honest, there's a lot of racism right now, a lot of tension, a lot of phobia in society. People are scared, freaked out. But we are here in this room showing love for each other because we're down with my peoples. <laughs> And that is why, and that is why we are actually witnessing this country undergo a transformation uh, in front of our eyes. It's amazing, yeah. right? We are witnessing the dawn of a new day, yeah. the birth of the white civil rights movement, <laughs> headed by a great leader, Donald Trump. Yes. Donald Trump is the Martin Luther King of white people. Oh, no. Oh, no. And before him, and before him, it was Donald Sterling. And before that, it was Don Imus. I'm not sure if we have a white problem or a Donald problem. I don't trust Donald Duck anymore. I'm waiting for that secret recording where he called Daffy Duck the N-word. White civil rights movement is serious, baby, all right? They have an agenda. Number one, gun rights, okay? Number two, in case you missed it, more gun rights.
Number three, we gotta build this wall, keep these Mexicans out. They're all rapists and murderers. They're gonna come over here and rape everybody and murder everybody. What makes you say that? That's what we did. Right. Oh. When you sneak into this country illegally, you gotta rape everybody and murder everybody. Those are the rules. <laughs> I'll leave you with this, people. You can imagine what it feels like to be me, an American Muslim stand-up comedian. A big part of my life is traveling. Through airports all the time. That sound is correct. Aw, that's exactly how you should feel all the time. People are nervous around me all the time. They're nervous. I'm nervous. Their nervousness makes me nervous. They got scary announcements in the airport, right? Scary signs. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen them, right? If you see something, say something. It's a pretty ambiguous set of instructions. If you see something, say something. I'll be standing in that line at TSA like, I see a lot of things. I should say something. What should I say? Something. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Allahu Akbar! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get shot. That's not fair. I'm following airport instructions. Don't tase me, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the final piece, final, my final thought is, uh, you know, as if it's not stressful enough just flying, right? When you get to the gate at an airport, you should be able to calm your nerves, right? You're about to do a scary thing nowadays, getting on a plane, bad weather, accidents, planes keep disappearing. Right. You know, we're all pretending that's not happening. Right. Real life lost happening somewhere. Yeah. We're all pretending it's not real. Yeah. Like terrorism. You should be able to relax and get in the zone. Oh no. Oh no. US government thought it was a good idea to put a TV screen at every boarding uh -huh. gate in America right. showing 24 7 news coverage of CNN. Scariest shit happening <laughs> right now. I was sitting at the gate one time. I forgot there was a screen above my head. Okay, I swear to God. Just swear, they were showing an ISIS beheading. Everybody at the gate looking at ISIS. Looking at me. <laughs> looking at ISIS. Looking at me. I just want to be like, I didn't do it. I'm in Chicago with you. Look, it's happening right now. It's live. Look, look. Damn, it says recorded earlier. It could be me. Hypothetically, it's not me. And by the way, if it is me, you have bigger problems. I'm already at the gate. How do you like that? Happens. Hey, thank you very much for that.